Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you how to apply for a digital certificate. What is this kind of documents for? So first of all, to give you a little bit of the background knowledge, this kind of certificate can serve many different things. So for example, the first one, like to declare your tax and income statement every year. And for example, in my case, when I'm a foreigner, I have to always renew my working visa. So if you have this kind of digital certificate, you can actually do everything online that can save you a lot of time. I think everyone who is leaving Spain, not only for Spanish people and also the foreigners, you should always have it. And it would expire every four years. When it expires, you just need to renew it again and it's actually quite easy. The most difficult part is to do it the first time. That's why today I'm gonna share with you this video and teach you step by step. So don't worry, just follow the process and you will be able to get it like me. First, you have to access to this governmental website, which is this CDFNMT government website. I will also put the link below so you could just directly click and enter this website. When you enter this website, normally you'll see everything in Spanish, but here you could also change it to English, which is this welcome. And then you go to this certificates and over here, you have to go to the first section, which is private individual. You just need to follow the steps first. They explain to you a little bit what is this for and who can obtain a digital certificate, which almost applies to everyone if you have the national identity card or a residence card like NEA. Normally, if you're a student or you are working here, you always have this NEA. With this, you will be able to apply for it. And now we directly go to the step one is that you have to install a software. And in order to install this software, you have to first make sure that you have this following browsers that is compatible to this software. But I have tried it with Safari before, which indicates it in a government website saying that this is okay but actually it gave me an error. So I highly recommend it just use Firefox or Internet Explorer. In my case, because I'm using Mac, I first download the Firefox and then I use Firefox to go through the whole process from step one till the end. And it's important to know that this certificate has to be linked to one laptop or computer from the beginning to the end. Now I'm gonna teach you how to download it. The step one, it just explains you a little bit about this software. And in the end over here, there's a link where you can click and it will bring you to the link to download the software. In my case will be Mac, so you just click it. It will directly download this software. It's actually very easy. You just need to follow the steps and you'll be able to download it in one minute. So we go back to step two, which is solicitar certificado to apply for this certificate. And in step two, remember, you need to use Firefox or Internet Explorer because step two is the place where I got an arrow when I used Safari. First, you have to put your identity number, you put your family name and then your email address and again, your email address. And later on over here, you have to press it. In the end of all this paragraph, you just click accept and send like this by clicking send you will then receive an email and in this email they're gonna give you a code which is related to this certificado app and MT you have to keep it with you always through the whole process in the next step they tell you to prove your identity so we go back to the same website in step 3 over here it's to prove your identity. Due to the coronavirus issue, you cannot just directly go to the government office. You have to always first make an appointment in those offices where they provide this service of proving your identity. So in the same website over here, they also provide you a link where it shows you all this kind of office you can make the proof of the identity. I will show you over here, which is this website. When you assess it, they ask you what's the thing you need. So for us, it will be personas físicas. So we just click the one that we need. And then here you have to put in an address, for example, in Madrid. Okay. So here you can see in this map, this is the center of Madrid. Here in this map, it shows you in which office they provide the service. I also prepared a list of all these buildings in this video with a link where you can directly access to it and make this appointment. With the link that I'm gonna provide you, there are many different government offices where they have this service. The only thing is that due to right now the coronavirus issue, 
all this kind of appointment is quite full, so you have to always do it as soon as possible. If not, it's always booked and you have to wait one month. So the first government office where you can prove your identity is this one. This is the website of Industry, Commerce and Tourist Ministry. When you enter it in the end of this website, you will find this one, which is to prove your identity. And here there's a link, which is to make an appointment. So you click it. In our case, it will be the third one. And then you can just choose the date that you can and choose the time normally they are only open in the morning so when you choose the date here you just put your name email the reason why you need to make this appointment and confirm like this you can get it it's actually easy okay and the second website is this treasury and international financing buildings and over here you have to first choose the office which you only have one in madrid and here they're gonna ask you which is the thing that you are going to apply for so in our case it's the first one okay and you click accept they explain to you a little bit what is this about you just go to the next step and then here you have to put your identity number your name and also your nationality and the date when it's gonna expire your identity card and then you click accept and it will shows up with a calendar where you can make an appointment okay and the third website is this citizen and registry office it's actually the same process you go to the province where you are living in. For example, now we're gonna go to Madrid. And here, they're gonna ask you what's the thing that you need. So for our case, it's F and MT, and then accept, and you enter. So it's actually the same process. Just put your identity number, your names, and then it goes to the calendar where you can book the appointment. Another place where you can make the appointment is in this text agency. When you access to this link, you gotta choose the first one over here, for individuals and then here you put your id number and also your name and it will go through the whole process to choose the date so that's all from step three once you already book an appointment in a government office you will have to go personally over there with the following documents if you are spanish then you just need to bring the email where they send you this certificate f and mt code which comes in an email that I show you in the step two and your identity card. If you are European Union citizens, then you have to bring your ID card from your own country and your ID here in Spain and an email with a certificate code. The for the third case, which is most of us, we are the foreigners that is non European Union citizens. We will have to prepare the following three things, which is the email printed with the certificate code and your id card here in spain which is nea also your passport with all three things you have to go that day to the office with uh, your appointment and you will be able to prove your identity so once you have already proved your identity you will soon receive an email from this FNMT, which is to guide you to the next step to download this digital certificate. So in this email, it comes with a link, which is to download the certificate. And then you just need to click it. It will just download it directly. And with that, you will be able to have your digital certificate. Once you have everything done, installed in your laptop, it's important that we make a copy of our digital certificate in case one day we lose our laptop. So how can we save a copy of it? So here you go to the setting. Under the setting, you have this preference. We have to go to privacy. In the end of the privacy, you will see one section, which is about certificates. And you choose this one. And here you click backup and you save a name, like for example, Vicky. And I will save it in downloads and save. And here they're gonna ask you a password. I just put the same set of the password that I created for the installation of the first software. So here you just put it again, the password, and then click OK. It will directly save into a file. So it's actually quite easy. If you're interested in my channel, you can also click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.